All right, what's going on YouTube fam? I'm going to be doing a quick ceiling video for this adorable baby here. This is the Gabigail kit. You if you guys have seen it around, I guess, I don't know if you've seen a lot of them, but uh, it just came out, so a lot of people are pretty much gonna be uh, getting this kit or whatever. Um, this is Gabigail Kids by Claire Taylor. I believe she's uh, 23 inches. Um, this is the open eyed kit, as you can see. Um, and I do have a closed eye kit that I will be uh, uh, working on next week because she'll be finished by that time. Um, and I will show. And that baby's gonna have a different concept, to be honest. Um, but anyways, she's not finished. I am gonna go ahead and seal it. I did uh, finish out her face quite a bit. Um, so it needs to be sealed. I didn't do any details on the limbs, um, just shade work. This is only shade work on the, on the limbs, but the face does have a good amount of detail work done on it, as you can see. So I just wanted to show you guys, um, her, I guess, kind of put together so you can get a really good look at her, um, and whatnot. And this is not, um, this is not a custom. Um, she does have inquiries already, but she will be, uh, she will be going for adoption, but she does already have some serious, uh, inquiries, um, already. Just, uh, just a FYI. So anytime I do, like, a good sealing video, I will let you guys know, if I let you guys know that the babies are up for adoption, um, that pretty much, you know, at that time, you can inquire about it. And you can inquire about a baby anytime that I'm doing that's not a custom at any point, um, that they are in painting. Uh, because they do tend to go very, very, very quickly. They do. They really do. They go really fast. So, anyways, I do. I did want to show for those, uh, for the, for the, uh, so for the people that are um, already looking to see her, to see what she looks like, and they're really a serious inquiry. I wanted to sh do a ceiling video so you guys can see her and see her as she looks um, in uh, as far as put together. Even though she doesn't have any detail work on her, um, she doesn't have any details done on her uh, on her limbs, but definitely on her face. And um, seal her up so you guys can see her um, and, and, you know, see her on videos, see the different angles and whatnot. That's why I really, really do the sealing videos, not just just to seal a baby because I can seal a baby off camera. But for those that are interested, for their moms, if it's a custom, for people that are inquiring about my work, you get to see the doll in all angles. You really, truly do. Um, you can't Photoshop, you know, footage. You just can't. So, anyways... So this is her, and I am, I'm going to take her apart, and I'm going to seal her up. I don't know how many uh, how many limbs I'll get done, but I'll definitely do her face so you guys can see um, what her face looks like and her details and stuff like that. This is super, super, super cute baby. I absolutely um, love this kid. I really wasn't checking for this kid at first, but I, I love, I'm loving how this kid looks. So anyways, I'll be back to seal her up. Okay, guys, I'm back. And she's been taken apart. I'll show you guys her again. So you can see. This is her. In pieces. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, start uh, sealing her up. I'll start with her face first because I feel like that's the most important. That's why typically when I do a sealing video, the face usually has more work done. I try. Um, to the, I try to have the face have more work done than... Um, than the limbs only because the face is really important you know what I mean you got the baby done and the limbs look excellent but the face is is, is you know it's trash you know <laughs> nobody's gonna want that reward so anyways, I try to have as much detail done on the face as possible um, when I do a ceiling video so anyways we'll get right into it y'all I ain't been up to too much of nothing y'all to be honest I've been rewarming that's about it um, I have been loving uh, uh, painting these uh, babies that are buying out babies of course after uh, this is my last month next month it'll be right on back to customs I have a toddler to do I have um, I have two I have a, two, a toddler a 23 inch baby two um, two small size babies with a one with a wicked birthmark that I'm so excited to do and then another one this is a um, this is a revamp um, you guys will get to see that. I'm not going to say too much about that one because it's a revamp of a, of a baby that I've already done before. And then I'm trying to think. And then I do have, actually I have three small babies to do. And then what I have another one to do too that's, um, I don't know, she hasn't picked out a kit or let me know what kit we're going to be doing. But 
I've done work with her with another client. So y'all, I'm back. Gonna be busy, busy, busy again. Back to customs. And this little break was fun. It was cute. <laughs> Some of my best work has come out of uh, these bite down babies. Just be kind of, you know, doing what I want to do and having my way with them and whatnot. It's been all kinds of fun and cute. But, you know, back to business, back to customs. Um, and then I'll probably, once I finish out customs uh, for this year, because I am booked, y'all. I am booked in a way this this real. So if I do post a, if I do get a chance to do a buy now, baby, to post it, you know, snatch on it if you can. Um, because outside of that, I'm typically I'm booked. I'm booked up until sometime next year. Um, but I will be going back to doing buy now, babies. I love buy now, babies. I like when I get to do whatever I want to do. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. I like to do what I want to do. And so, um, because sometimes y'all know all the time, I usually have a vision. When I buy a kit, I don't buy a kit. I don't care if it's the best thing out, the new rave out. If I can't see a vision for it, I ain't buying it. And that's just me. And that's only because my best work comes with the vision. Not, I'm not, I don't buy kits because I know they're going to be popular. And even though I don't know what to do with it, I don't buy a kit just because of the popularity of the kit. Because then I'm, it's not going to be my best work. And at the end of the day, for me, my work, and my name as far as my level of artistry is more important than you know popping out a popular kit if I can't see a vision for it and I don't know if I can't you know see myself put my foot thigh and part of the hip into the painting of the kit I just won't purchase it because I don't see it for myself you know there's a ton of artists out here that do really 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 good work and they may have a vision for that kit that they can really do something with it ain't no sense in me getting it just because it's popular and I'm gonna tear it up with the painting um, because I can't see what I can do with it. So, I typically don't buy a kit. But anyways, I didn't even see these kits before. I hadn't even took a look at them until um, one of my um, one of my girls that... Uh, uh, actually, uh, Melissa's mom, which is the Bluebell kit. She actually told me about the kit. And actually, another person has mentioned the kit to me before as well. And I'm like, no, because typically I don't have time to go look at kits and stuff like that. And so, I'm like, no, I haven't seen it Um I haven't seen it to even purchase it. But when I looked at it, I was like, ooh, I can do I can do something with that. I sure can. Let me get my little paws on it and my brushes and paints. And I can do something with it. So I as soon as I saw the kit, I knew that I was gonna get be getting uh, both awake and both sleep. And I knew exactly what I was gonna be doing with them. I, I knew the outcome. That's what I knew. I knew what I wanted the outcome to be. I knew the vision. So, I can't wait to finish out this baby so you guys can see her with her rooting um, and her lashes and eyebrows and all that other good stuff. And then I can't wait to get to the uh, to the sleep baby because, like I said, it's going to be a different concept. I'm really excited about doing it. Um, I think it's going to be absolutely adorable. Um I gotta find the hair, to be honest, because I don't have I don't have the hair that I that I want for the um the uh the sleep one, and I'm anal about the hair, so it's got to be a certain way. I got I, I want I got to find exactly what I'm looking for. So, or I may have to that'll ruin it. Yeah, I'll have to change the concept if I cannot find, or I'll be searching. I'm gonna be on a girl on y'all on search like straight search. Cyber stalking eBay, cyber stalking people's websites and stuff, looking for hair. I just can't put any old kind of thing because the way I want to paint them, the hair has to be what uh, the hair has to be a certain way. Because I'm actually painting his complexion to go with the hair, so it's important for all that to work for me for it to come together. But anyways, what y'all been up to? I, like I said, I haven't been up to too much of nothing. Just reborn and painting. Um, that's about it. Um, work. I think y'all, y'all, I think my dog might be pregnant. I was trying to prevent that. We, if y'all, <laughs> oh no, it's not in the video. It's on the other, other channel, on the weight loss channel and the surgery channel. Um, if y'all watch the, <laughs> some of those videos, you'll, especially the recent ones, you'll see that the, the female dog has on a doggy pamper and that's because she was, she was in heat. And we were trying to, um, you know, like stop a pregnancy um, because we have a male and a female dog. And uh, the female is a Bichon and the male is a Maltese. 
and we did not want her to get pregnant like you know what I mean her first cycle or whatever so I, I bought the little pampers them things was like 12 for 12 pampers it was like 16.99 17.99 and she was wearing them she was wearing them like you know throughout the day but at night time that little heifer was biting a hole in the crotch of the pampers so she could get down to business you know what I mean every time I would you know because we put them up at nighttime they not they don't sleep with us at nighttime so anytime I like open the door to their little room that they sleep in with all their little stuff it'll be all kind of like you know pamp, pamp, pamper um insides thrown around around the floor the pamper be like I said have a big old hole in the crotch area or she would just take it off and it's like you know, I can't sit there and like watch them all night long, but I did my best. I tried to prevent the pregnancy. I think this child is pregnant. I ain't even gonna lie. I really do. I think she's pregnant. Her stomach is starting to hang. She don't have the same energy that she used to. You know, I mean, she would be hot in the tail, so and unfortunately and fortunately, she thinks she's pregnant. I'm gonna keep one of her puppies though. She definitely is pregnant. I'm definitely keeping one for myself. I don't know what I'm gonna name it. It'll be a female dog because I can't wait to cut um to neuter the the male dog they can take it all they can take they can take his 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 testicles they can take everything if they want to because this creature i'm over it i you know i have really never had a male dog before and i definitely don't want to have another male dog because that thing right there he does it for me he cock his leg at any time of chance he can cock he can cock a leg i'll be boy i'll be having an eye on him he got to be in every room i mean he got to be in that room because i don't want him cocking his leg on none of my stuff and he quit to want to try to do that so anyways y'all y'all think we might be having some puppies here pretty soon so mm, you know if she want to be a teenage mom that's on her you know i can't stop the dog you know i try it i try to try to prevent it but you know like i said she was hot in the tail so there's that <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about my dog as if she's like a like a teenager for real, like a real human. Y'all, we don't have no teenage kids, thank God, just yet. Y'all pray for me when that time comes. But our kids are, the twins aren't teenagers just yet. But I'm talking about the dog. In case y'all just tuning in or whatever, y'all miss that. We are talking about a dog here. But yeah, so we'll see. Um, we'll see if we have little puppies. Um, I know so many people have mentioned that, oh my goodness, if you ever breed them, I want one. Because Ryder, which is a male dog, he's only four pounds. He is super cute. Everybody wants Ryder. Everybody wants Shelby. She is super cute. But y'all, Shelby have an attitude problem. Bichons ain't nothing to play, but they have a lot of personality. Um, they really do. They have a lot of personality. And they like to argue. My dog, she will sit there and have a full argument with me. Um, if she don't get to get what she wants. Um, and that's just her. So, I know her little puppies are going to be a trip and a half. I wonder if the Maltese will kind of like soften that, that strong personality. Because like I said, she will argue with me. She will literally bark back with me. She'll let me say what I want to say and, 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 and be quiet while I'm saying what I'm saying. And then she'll, you know, bark and growl, you know, her response back to me. And we can go back and forth for quite a while. I've tried it out. I have done it. Um, before she just liked to argue she bossy she liked to argue and we're gonna have a bunch of hers running around here in a little bit a bunch of little cotton fur balls so but I ain't gonna lie I'm excited I love pets I love animals um, I love all kind of pets except um, spiders I can handle a snake we ain't never gonna own one um, but I can handle a snake I cannot handle a spider that's the one insect pet creature whatever you want to call it that i can't handle i kill spiders on sight i don't care if it's pet or not i kill spiders on sight i carry a can of raid in my book bag in case it's war because anytime i see a spider it's automatically war i don't do them they, they they do not survive very long in this household i hate them i do not like they like shepherds for the devil i don't even know they look like spawns of the devil uh, they do. They look like cousins to, uh, <laughs> to Lucifer. I don't know what it is about a spider. I hate. I can't. I just don't like them. They look evil. Like, they just do. And I kill them anytime I see one. I, I don't shoot them out. I, I'm sorry. I know for y'all that's, you know, 
loves animals and stuff like that. And I do. I love animals. I don't have rats before as pets. I don't have guinea pigs, gerbils, mice, turtles, lizards, all kinds of things. The one thing I would never have is a spider. Cause I had actually, actually, I accidentally killed somebody's spider, and it was a pet. I didn't know, and he didn't know. <laughs> I was scared of spiders like that. He had it. I guess he's trying to like, uh, well, actually, it was somebody's pet. I was young. I was like a teenager. I was working at, um, I was working at Wendy's. And uh, there was a dealership right next to Wendy's, a dealership right next to Wendy's. And um, the lady had her kid, I guess, I don't know, the, the, had her kid in the car and he was outside of the car standing. And for some reason, I don't even know why, but he let the spider out of the little case. And um, I'm working to draft the window, y'all. I just so happened to look down. There wasn't no cars in my window. And I looked down and there's a tarantula, a black tarantula sitting just right there by the window, draft the window. And at first I thought it was a prank. I thought, you know, because everybody knows that, the, you know, when I work there, everybody knows how scared of spiders I am. Um, I'm not scared of spiders like I run from them. I'm scared of spiders and I want to kill. Um, so, you know, I, I'm thinking it was a joke. Like, ah, ha, ha, y'all funny. Yeah, joke's on you. I'm not scared. You know, it do look real, but I ain't scared. Then it moved. Y'all, I was out there. I didn't go through the. I did not go through Wendy's. I jumped out the draft through window. My shoe was in mid air and mid swing before I actually landed on the floor. I beat the brakes off that. Wasn't nothing but some limbs left on that spider. I mean, it was pieces of the spider left. Um, by the time I got through with it, I mean. I beat that spider into submission. I beat it into the to the to the pavement. I beat it um, in a way it was it was real. You know what I mean? I I, I killed that spider for real, for real. And uh, I know they had to look crazy. Somebody literally jumping out the drafting window. I sure did. I jumped right out that the drafting window because my fear was if I go to hand somebody or grab somebody somebody's money and that spider just so happened to have crawled up the wall and through the window, that's it for me. At that point, I'm dead. You know, because I don't have a heart attack. And then, you know, I don't know if anybody knows CPR to resuscitate or anything like that. So... I sure did kill that spider. And the messed up part about it is, though, is I knew it was a pet because <laughs> the lady and the kid came into Wendy's about 20 minutes later with the little blue case, like the little, um, <laughs> so terrible. It's not funny. It's so terrible. With the little case. And you can see, like, the little, <laughs> like, where the tarantula would have been at. Like, the little, um, not the case, but, you know, um, <laughs> what do they call it? Um... Oh, I can't even think of it. You know, like a, a you know how, like a tank. That's, it was a small little, like, portable tank. And they came with the tank, and he was holding, he was red-faced and everything. And she was like, I know this is such a weird question, but by any chance, have you guys seen a really large spider um, crawling around? And I was like, whoop. I walked right on in the back. I, was, I didn't even want to tell him. I said, I did. I walked right on in the back. I was up front when she said a really large spider. I knew that that was the spider that was part of it was on the bottom of my shoe still. I went on ahead, turned around, and walked right on back in the back and really act like I didn't know nothing. Boy. But that was one of the funniest stories uh, that happened to me when I was like a teenager. I think I was like 16 when I was working at Wendy's and I had to kill that trench. I didn't have to, but y'all, I just could not let that thing just run rampant like that. I just couldn't do it. So it, it, it could not live. Not after I don't, you know, lay my ass on it. I just, I just couldn't have it. I, mm -mm, I just couldn't do it. But I, I did feel, y'all, I felt terrible because the little boy, you know, he was, he was hurt. His feelings was hurt. He was crying because, you know, he lost his trench with, cried as his kept it was dead. But, you know, he felt like he lost his trench And, um, you know, unfortunately, you know, they had, you know, had just, you know, they had purchased it. They just purchased that trench load from the pet store. Uh, and he should have kept it in the cage or in the in the, uh, in the tank little, you know, that it, that it was in. But I guess, you know, kind of felt like it needed air. Okay. It needed air. Honey, it found death. It, you know, it is what it is. It happens sometimes. So that's a funny little story. I had to tell that one because y'all, where I work at, I, there's like large spiders there was a big spider the other day and i had to kill a girl y'all had to first i maced it with ray 
a bet I baptized it in raid. That's how much I went through damn near half a half a can of raid killing that spider. I really did. It was a big black spider. I wasn't prepared for it. It wasn't prepared for me. So, you know, it was a it was a serious altercation. And I did I literally sprayed almost a half a can of raid on it. And then I introduced it to my shoe. So <laughs> I really did. I just dislike spiders. Anyway, that's such a random topic to be talking about while I'm sitting up here sealing up a baby. This is going to be the last limb that I do, y'all, because I don't want to take up too much time and ramble and run my mouth. Because y'all know I will run my mouth. Uh, Kalia's not here to run her mouth with me. She's uh, she's just not getting off work. So, And then I got to do a box packing video later on the day, y'all. So y'all going to see me again. And don't talk about me if y'all see me in the same shirt. Because I do have a box packing video to do later on today. Um, and I'm going to get that done so it can be uploading um, tonight. But anyways, this is going to be the last limb that I do. I see it. Go sit down one second. I'm doing a video. My, my, I, I'm doing a video. Excuse me. Go sit down. Thank you. A truck. I see it. Um, anyways, um, this is going to be, yeah, I have to do a, a silly, I'm, not, I'm sorry, a silly video. Um, but uh, I have to do a box packing video. And, uh, and I think... Um, I think that's it for quite a while until I do a box packing video if she does, you know. Like I said, she does have inquiries already. She's not sold just yet. But she does have some inquiries, some serious inquiries. So, when she does sell, if she does sell here in a, a um, really quickly before I actually finish her out, I will put on all her pictures sold so you guys don't think that she's still available. Um... Because she will be going up for adoption if she doesn't sell already. Like I said, she's already got inquiries. So. And only serious, only serious buyers only. I do, you guys, I always offer some kind of payment plan or layaway plan. Because, you know, these dolls, they aren't cheap. So just keep that in mind. These dolls aren't cheap. A lot of times, sometimes they're limited edition sculpts. And um, so they're not going to, you know, they're, they're not always going to be very cheap. Um, so, only serious inquiries if you're interested. So, alright, I think I'm going to finish this little limb out. I'll show you. Sorry, y'all know I was rambling, and my topics was all over the place, talking about spiders and dog preteen pregnancies <laughs> and whatnot. So, anyways, I'll show, you the, I'll show you her limbs, even though I still have one more limb to do, and I will do that off camera. Um... But uh, I did want to get her sealed up before I finished out all her details. Because um, I do like, if y'all know, if y'all been following us for quite a while, y'all know we seal the babies more than one time. So I seal the babies uh, a lot of times in between painting. So this is her. This is the Gabby Gale kit. See her limbs. And this arm, of course, I didn't seal that one. But I did seal the other one. So, and I think I said, I think this baby is 22 inches long. Um, and I will be pulling out the sleeping baby so I can get uh, get him started, him or her started. And um, I will it's, uh, do the same thing as I did for this Gabby Up kit. I'll post um, some pictures like whips as I paint. Um, as soon as I get to shading, I usually paint, uh, usually start posting pictures then. So if it's going to be um, a buy it now baby, I'll post the first round of shading and then uh, the second round or the third round. If, it, if that baby's concept needs three rounds. Because this baby has three rounds of shading, three different colors of shading. Um, and in the pictures, you can see the different colors because they're all different. Um, so, but anyways, that's all guys. That's it for this video. Hopefully it's not too long. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions or comments or, um, anything, just leave a comment below or shoot me an email. I'll always leave that in the description bar. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Bye guys.